Hello, hello, and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. And we pick up the story where we left off in the last episode, and we are just about ready to rob a shipping container. Uh, Wade has just let us know where there is a submersible that we can acquire, so we're going to make our way over to the docks and see if we can't secure ourselves a nice little sub and then we are all good to go for the heist itself so the docks are a little way off so we're just gonna drive straight there and try not to get ourselves killed along the way and here we are at the docks after a relatively uneventful drive although I did crash a number of times and if we look over and up, there we are. That looks like a submersible to me. Although it is suspended quite high up in the air. If we drop it from there, that could damage it. But we will endeavor to try not to. So we need to make our way on to the ship, I'm guessing, and find some way to lower the sub into the water and there's a ladder leading up onto the boat here so let's see if we can't get up and secure ourselves the submarine we're just going to wait for that guy over there on the phone to go past okay. no, don't stop there mate that's it right so up we go uh, i don't know how many people there are up here oh 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 right no he's wandering off that's good so our switch that we require appears to be around here i'm guessing this is the crane controls and we can then lower the submersible into the water and then we can do a nice expert dive into the water after it and try not to land on the sub uh, oh, okay i was thinking it was gonna lower the sub but it just dropped it so let's dive over the edge into the water narrowly missing the sub on the way down and we are going to take this and store it up somewhere i'm guessing ready for the heist uh, we need to still speak to michael and franklin as well i believe but we have the sub so we are now essentially all ready for the heist itself Got that submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd, don't go quiet on me or I'll come around and I'll, well, we both know what I'm talking about. So, as I learn to control the submarine and at first head off in completely the wrong direction, eventually we make it round to the dock where Floyd is awaiting for us and he is hopefully prepared and ready to lift the sub out of the water and we can hide it somewhere so i guess we're aiming for that yellow circle up ahead of us uh, you don't normally find yellow circles under the water so this must be the spot eventually like i said i did head off in the wrong direction for quite some time and controlling the submarine is very very difficult So Floyd has come through for us with a truck as well as the crane so we can now go and 
quickly hide the submarine somewhere nearby. Uh, we want to stay near the water, obviously. Uh, so there is apparently somewhere just up ahead on this road where we can hide the submarine and we can then continue on with the heist itself. Now, I do like driving these big rigs, the Arctic lorries. So quick right hand turn here. Nice. And then into what looks like an open warehouse or docking station. But we have arrived with our incident. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. So that is the submarine secured. Uh, we need to now make our way back to, I'm guessing, uh, Floyd's apartment or HQ. There goes Floyd in the distance at speed. Uh, that mission is now passed, but because it was such a short, quick and easy one, we will continue on and fulfill the Merryweather heist in full for this episode at least. So, it looks like we're ready to go with everything. Floyd don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd it is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. So, everything is now ready. Uh, we need to make our way back to the condo or Wade's apartment, not Wade, sorry, Floyd's apartment, or Deborah's apartment, Floyd's girlfriend, and there are no vehicles nearby here, so we could be running a, a long way. Oh wait, no, I see a car in the distance. Yep, yep, there's a few there, we'll take one of those, and we'll make our way back to Vespucci Beach, and we can then begin the heist. Hopefully Michael and Franklin will also be on their way at this point. And out of the four cars here, I think I've taken the nicest looking one, but I really should have took that little smart car right at the end there. Uh, much more nippy and able to get through smaller gaps. But without too much incident, we make it back to Floyd's apartment and we can now begin the heist mission itself where we are going to take out a shipping container or a container ship and retrieve whatever it is the Merriweather guys hey. are hiding there. Hey, you guys, I'm expecting company, all right? Want this place clean. Wade, you tidy. Floyd, massage. Uh, no, no, I really oh, don't. Do you want me to get my dick out again? No, no, huh? no, no. Does anyone want that? No, no, you're right, you're right. You're... Hey, bro, what's up? Oh, hey, bro, you're late. Nine years fucking late. You know, you're so late, in fact, that you have no right to call me. Bro, is that clear? Ah, uh, shut the fuck up. You're like a broken fucking record. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, you're like a shit. Exactly like a shit. Where's the assistant? On his way. Uh, kid idolized his you <laughs> creeps. Yo! Yo, Frankie, we were just talking about you. Ah, oh, nattering. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever, man. So what we doing here? We're working, amigo. Taking a score. Yeah, done most of the planning, and uh, I think we're gonna literally make out like bandits on this. Did you talk to Lester? Yeah, yeah, I called him. It's, apparently he's in the hospital having his vagina cleaned or some shit. He's got a wasting disease. 20% saved. No, that's not how we work. Well, you'll forgive me, but that's how we're gonna work this time, all right? We're doing it my way, because as I recall the last time when we did it your way, we all got shot at, you got buried, resurrected, turned into a twat, and Brad ended up in a fucking prison! Yeah, and Lester told us not to do that job, but we did it anyway. And Lester seems pretty good, man. Would you shut the fuck up, all right? And you, Michael, 
owe me, all right? So this time, we do things my way. <laughs> yeah, and what about after this? After this, we think about things. So what's the plan? Easy, all right? We are sinking a freighter into Los Santos Harbor, all right? Now, Daddy's little helper, you're gonna be on the bridge, all right? You're the lookout. Yeah. You, you're boarding the freighter and planting charges. Me, I'm running the deep water salvage operation with a little help from my friends. Uh, you, fat man, of course, well, you're not one of those friends. Which part is easy, though? Oh, for fuck's where'd you get the pussy, Mikey? Man, fuck you! Ah, better! I like that! Fuck you! Good! Good! All right, now let's go make some money, ladies, huh? Brilliant. Don't be a dick. Oh, your wish is my commando, master! Let's go, Junior! Hey, Wade! Get Michael a wetsuit, or I take him to the boat. Oh! Hurry it up! We need some transport, don't we? Hold on! So, the heist is on, and everybody is now going to get into position. And we are going to drop Franklin off at a remote area where he will be able to cover us from a distance with a sniping okay, rifle. And uh, Michael is due to board the ship. And obviously Trevor will pilot the submarine. And because it will be me controlling Trevor, it will be piloted somewhat badly. So here we are at the sniper's nest. Ah, Trevor! I thought you were driving off. Why did you suddenly reverse? Uh, crossing this road could be quite dangerous. Let's get across quick. And down into our sniper's nest. And once again, just as with Trevor in the other episode, Franklin tried to walk away all on his own. Hey, I was pushing position, one direction and he decided to turn around and walk another. Maybe he has similar reservations to pulling this job there as I do. All right, F, I'm in position. Damn, that's a long way up. So make sure I don't run into any trouble when I get there. Fucking Trevor. All right, I got you, homie. Hey, yo, there's two guards. These are bad dudes, right? I read up about these fools online. Yeah, they're a nasty bunch. It's clear, man. Climb aboard. Things I do for old friends. So, as Michael, we are going to hitman our way across the deck of the ship. And hopefully not get spotted by anyone. And if at all possible we could do this without raising any alarms this looks like our first bomb location so we're going to plant one bomb right here i have no idea what blowing this up will do so one down three more to go i believe uh, we need to make our way right along this ship and I make a very, very simple mistake, and I've already blown our cover. The alarms will be now ringing, so we're going to switch over to Franklin. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, I'm not able to really zoom. Uh, so I can't zoom in on targets, and I can't zoom out. So my shooting accuracy will be next to zero I'm believing as you can see I miss more shots than I land uh, I think Michael's actually killing most of the people I'm not getting any hits unless I'm aiming for the ship itself oh no there we go we got one no he, Michael's dropped him already I know there's another guy there somewhere so I think I would be better off using Michael and going in close quarters combat with a lot of these guys. Michael is pinned down at the moment. Uh, I still can't see this guy here. I know he's there somewhere. I can see the tracer fire. It seems there's somebody else over here somewhere, but again, I can't see them. So we're gonna get in nice and close. And it turns out we're right by our next bomb placement and we have a silenced pistol which makes this feel a lot more like hitman so around the corner here uh, it looks like this will be our bomb location 
So planting the next bomb. Michael doesn't seem to have much in the way of weaponry on him. But we have two bombs now in position. Switching back to our pistol. And hopefully we can just cruise on through the rest of this. Taking out the enemies as we go. I saw ya. Now where are you? You've moved haven't you? I can't see you. Let's see if Franklin can spot anybody else. And again, I am now fully zoomed out. And I can't zoom in. I'm pushing every single button. As you'll notice, because I switched to thermal imaging, which I was unsure of what the button for that was as well. But without the zoom feature, I'm not going to be able to hit very much at all. Because having a scope is kind of pointless if you can't zoom so essentially I've got just a rifle but we are now at the third and penultimate bomb placement area uh, hopefully with the computer controlling Franklin he will have more luck at taking out the Merriweather guys so Three bombs now planted with, I believe, one more to go. And that is right back at the other end of the ship. And I am taking the longest possible route. But I have actually managed to kill somebody, finally. So let's see if we can't find where we're supposed to be going. It's right on the other side of the ship. Which luckily for me is where Franklin is covering us from. So we're all right there. And there's some stairs here. Hello mate. Yeah down you go. I do like this silenced pistol. It has quite a bit of stopping power. But we're inside now. So we are now forced to use Franklin and as you can see getting a shot off or an accurate shot off is damn near impossible. Uh, oh, we managed to kill at least one in that car there but there were four total or three I believe and another car has just arrived and they're all taking cover. I've got no cover and I can't zoom in although I can see where they are I can't actually see what they're hiding behind and which parts of their bodies are exposed there you go so there's plenty of cover down there for all of them and none for me so they're all landing their shots I've finally managed to kill one of them now you're out in the open can I get you no try again uh, what's that? I hear a helicopter on the way. Uh, at least the helicopter I should be able to deal with. Come on, line up. That's a good shot. I wonder if I'll drop the helicopter on the others. Or not. Because I have no cover. So the highly trained military guys have managed to down me. So let's try this again and hopefully we can survive a second attempt and that was a pretty good shot there I'm taking my time a little bit more but once the cars and the helicopter arrive I'm just gonna start spraying bullets as much as possible to see how many people I can actually eliminate I'm assuming that I have to eliminate everybody outside of the vehicles or off the ship area and I can see a little red dot just down in the bottom left corner there I don't know who that is that might actually be f uh, no I don't know who that is let's just keep spraying bullets and hope that some of them land before I get eliminated again you can see all their bullets coming at me and hitting me quite frequently so here comes the helicopter, we managed to take that out quite easily last time, let's see if we can do the same again, and we did, I think that may even have been a headshot, 
but once again we managed not to drop the helicopter on the rest of the Merryweather men. Uh, they're landing hit after hit and all I'm hitting is something metal I'm guessing. I'm having a lot of trouble here. Uh, if I could zoom in it wouldn't be quite so bad but even being off by a millimeter at this distance means that I can't actually zero in on any of the targets come on you can do this Franklin oh ah, I thought we had a guy there he's ducking and covering behind something they're getting their shots off so as long as I keep shooting it would appear that they don't tend to shoot back quite so much which means I should hopefully survive and we're down to the last guy now if we can just take him out I was hoping they were all hiding behind vehicles and if I hit the vehicles enough I would take them out with an explosion so Mike has planted the last bomb that is Michael there making his way out of the boat and he is in hot pursuit by the Merryweather guys I did manage to get a shot off there not bad can we take out this guy or is he hiding I believe he's hiding yeah but we've got him uh, a few more appearing down below can we take them out oh we've got one one more to go possibly anyone else after this looks like this guy oh no there we go a couple more coming out now yeah I can hear them Michael I can see them probably better than you can so one of them is taken care of it would be so much easier if we switched to Michael and we could do this close quarters but everything is now done So it's time to blow the ship and up she goes and followed very closely as you may know anything that goes up must come down so once she's gone up down she goes which will luckily put out all of them fires although it is gonna make quite a mess of the harbor area so under the water although it hasn't sunk very far right so back to Michael and uh, we need to now locate this mystery object I don't think any of us actually know what this thing looks like but it is giving off a signal so let's try and home in on said signal don't mind that crane and that crane so it's up ahead of us here somewhere and I'm thinking it's inside the ship as that's what's been alluded to so far and I've just literally just swum right over it and haven't realized and I'm looking for a way into the ship under the water line or what would have been the water line and I realize way too late that I've gone the wrong way and I'm now technically under the bottom of the ship and there is almost definitely no way in there right, how do we get back under the water I didn't mean to hit the surface right so back the way we came uh, see if we can't get underneath the ship which is highly unlikely yep as I thought it's resting on the bottom as sunken ships tend to do so we're going to have to go all the way back around to the far side and locate this mystery device or object, whatever it is. We are zeroing in on it now and apparently we've just found it, although I didn't see it. So switching over to Trevor in the submersible and we can now head in and retrieve the device, whatever it is. Uh, let's try and not crash the submarine too much and also try not to hit the surface which we immediately do so 
somewhere over here just ahead of us is the device uh, it's around here somewhere we can see the shipping container so we're in the right area and apparently I'm right over the top of it to the point where I can't actually see what I'm looking for because the submarine is blocking it out so we're just gonna descend straight down and see if we can't find it there it is we have actually got it so with the device now attached to the sub we're just gonna make our way back to the docks and get the ourselves out of the area as I'm sure we've upset quite a few people Man, you can say whatever you want about Trevor, but shit, he got it done. Yep, let's hope so. Hey, is that an Aston? What? Hey, man, what the fuck you doing here? You should be in bed. Yes, I should be. I would be if certain known associates weren't busy making themselves enemies of the state. You know, the FIB, Merriweather, IAA, you can fuck with them all day long, but... When you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is going to be fucked in the ass, you fucking chumps! H hold on, man. A super weapon? The Chinese? What? What'd you think is in there? I thought he talked to you. All right, man. So what now? Well, maybe I can organize to have it taken back and found amongst the wreckage. Whoa! Holy fuck! Lester Crest! Holding on and looking good, huh? Do you have any idea what you did here? Yeah, I pulled a score. What, are you jealous because you didn't get your 20%? If that thing doesn't go back, then we will all end up on every watch list in the entire planet. Watch list? So fucking what? So they don't watch, they kill. Idiot, we'll all be dead within a week. Think! All right, listen. Take the truck, take a guy, do what you gotta do. Trevor? I'll load it up. Uh, Trevor? Great. Then you and the patient can take it all back. Right fucking now! So you mean to tell me this shit was all for nothing? Man, it's the hood all over again. Fuck. Come on, Franklin. You owe me, Michael. I am owed! What you gonna do, huh? I think of something. I gotta get Franklin some work, too. Hey, I'll take this. Yeah, yeah. Lots of mouths to feed, amigo. Tell me about it. Fuck! So, with the heist successfully achieved, but ultimately a bust, we are going to leave the story there and we will pick it up again in the next episode. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.